Harper's only request for her room was pink, purple, and a cute closet. So that was my mission. The closet sure did turn out pretty cute. She loves it. I went with this mini reeded with a little bit of a trim detail to give it a little bit more of a traditional touch. And then the little brass details, and of course did a little arch, but this time flipped it upside down. So really keeping with kind of the overall theme. Over here is her desk area with so much beautiful natural light and just gives her a place to color and do her little things. Um, she loves crafts, so like great little craft spot. Also with this, I knew that I wanted an arch in this part of the room. I wanted her desk to feel arched, but the challenge with the window was that it's square. So instead what we did, which was like a little creative hack with our window group, was we created a custom shade so that it went along with the arch. So it's just like a sweet little moment. Then this side, this might be like the best side, is her bed and wallpaper. As you can see, her requests for purple and pink did make it into the room, just in a very muted tone. That's just my vibe, muted tone. So we did this entire wallpaper on this wall, very Spanish touch. So I love the way it brings that in, kind of like the dark hues of things. And then this bed, this is a part of our collection and it is the sweetest bed with this little scallop detail. And at the end of the bed, we also did this kind of finial rounded top as well as a scalloped bench in the front, which is also in our collection and I die over it. All the little scallop detail is so cute. Then of course, paired with nightstands and fun wicker lamps. And then that leads us into the bathroom. So I wanted to make it girly, but not overly girly. So we did this scallop front vanity with the little gold, uh, little hardware pieces that are really delicate and cute. And then on the leg, we went with a rounded feature that tapers at the bottom. So I wanted to create an interesting moment with the uh, marble really kind of wrapping around the leg. And when Harper first saw it, she said, oh, you put Mickey Mouse in my room. Wasn't the intent, but I kind of can now see it. You kind of can't unsee it. Um, then one of my favorite features is this tile. This is custom colors, custom made, and I have a little bit of pinks in there and then more of like, you know, some green tones and it adds just like this really powerful play on a pattern. I only took it part way up so it didn't overwhelm the bathroom and then added this mirror again, some scallopy roundy moments and then these porcelain lights. I just love how this whole thing came together. And then we carried the floor, which is a liege. So you get tons of different tones. You get a little pink, a little brown, a little bit of everything in it. In the shower, we did plaster. I really wanted it to feel kind of textured and have a little bit of color to the space as well. And, but I didn't want it to feel overwhelmed with tile. So we carried the tile from the bathroom floor into the shower, and then we mimicked that tile from the floor into the arch detail of the niche. I wanna create something that was just super girly in a niche and something totally different. So we did um, this tile that's pressed into the plaster and then a little bit of the countertop that we had a remnant of as the shelf in there. So it's just the cutest little spot. Harper is like so happy. When she came in here for the first time, she hugged the wall and then she has since hugged every single thing in the room. So I think we did pretty good and it is the ultimate girl space.